How are we ladies and gents? Welcome to the channel. Today we are doing a bit of bread and butter fishing on sunset. Sun's making its way down at the moment. What we can expect to see today is whiting, hopefully brim, hopefully a mulloway. Let's follow that sort of food chain and go from there. If we can get a legal size whiting, we're going to use that for bait. We're going to use a head and two fillets, which is a nice sturdy bait. And I'm hoping I can convert that into mulloway. So if you haven't already subscribed, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And let's go, boom. We're gonna try some of these tube worms I got from a mate down at Liverpool, bait and tackle. We're gonna to try to see if we can get some brim, some whiting, some bread and butter species. I'll set up the second rod, so once the sun goes down, if we get a tailor or something, we'll cut that up and use it for bait. Oops, we're getting a hit. Something's on. What have we got? Oh, we do have something. Oh. Not bad for the first cast. It's not too bad at all. Fishing nice and light in the surf. Nice little whiting. And I'm pretty sure he's going to go legal, so we're going to measure him up. We might use him for bait, I think. Let's plonk him down. Let's get another bait out. Let's get this worm on. Okay, we'll get another one out there. We're getting another bite. Non stop here. Yeah, and the circle hook's done its job. It looks like we've got another small one. This one's not going to make legal, so we're going to let him go. So we'll let him gaze a bit under. Two in two casts. Beautiful. We've got that legal size whiting. We cut two fillets and a head. Gonna chuck that on the big rod. We're gonna wait and see if we can get a mulloway. Nice chunk of whiting. We'll get this. Okay, beautiful. Two for two whiting, bread and butter fishing. Let's see what we can do from here. Great day, it's blowing easterly, onshore about, about eight to 10 knots at the moment. And we've got a nice deep hole over here. I'm using those star sinkers so that we don't get too much sideways sort of drift. We don't want that side current affecting us. You don't want that when you've got your rods in the rod holder. So meanwhile, we'll keep persevering. Shh. Righto. It's time to get another, another worm on. Have to cover the bait. The seagulls are trying to get in. I think the lights are gonna to have to be turned on soon. Losing daylight. Shh. 
This episode of Dave Austin Fishing is brought to you by Seagulls. Chili Burn. Thanks for the shirt, mate. Check out his YouTube channel. And Ozfish, A-U-S-S-F-I-S-H, Ozfish. Because he's the guy that brings the seagulls that are trying to get my worms there and trying to get my whiting fillets. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's see if Chili Burns' lucky shirt can deliver a fish. I'm getting a bite right now. The Chili Burns shirt delivered. Thanks for the shirt, Chili Burn, the lucky shirt. What do we got here? What do we got? Oh, oh, it's a whiting and he's, he's come off. But well, we got him, we got another whiting. Oh. This fish was brought to you by Chili Burns Lucky Shirt. Check him out. Check out his YouTube channel. Thanks, buddy. Off he goes. And the Lucky Shirt delivers. Nice work. Tell you what, these whiting are on fire lately. I don't think I've ever caught that many whiting in my career so in such a, a short space of time. A few guys fishing up the beach. Oh, we're getting bites now, and we're on again. Ah, he's there. So many whiting. Or has he come off? So many whiting. I want to get a brim or something. Oh, and he's gotten away. He got away. That white, this, uh, <laughs> this t-shirt's not so lucky anymore, I think. <laughs> All right. So here's the thing, right? Here's something I want to try to put out to you guys. Well, I'm using the premium bait right here. I could be using yellowtail fillets or squid. And you might not be getting anything. So the premium bait sometimes is what makes the difference, these worms. From my mate down at Liverpool Bait and Tackle. Let's go. Hopefully we can get ourselves a brim or something. A nice, a nice surf brim would be nice to keep. Big Rod's getting a bite. Mine's gone slack, it's swimming towards us. Let's see what we got. Something swam into the hole. We're onto something. I think it's there. What do we got? No. Something picked that up. Righto guys. Something something picked up this whiting, okay? Um I can see there, it's taken the scales off a bit. So, it's either a salmon or a mulloway, they're here. Let's go. And what the cheeky thing did, he picked up the bait, he's running this hole, cause my line was getting slack. There's only one way in and one way out. I'm hoping he finds my bait. And we know that there's a lot of whiting in this hole. So when there's a whiting fillet out there, hopefully it's gonna be tempted by it. And it's funny, I've still got a bait on too. Probably means those whiting are a little bit spooked. I'm gonna have to set up my lighting and position that camera a bit closer. 
Our bait's still good. We're going to reposition that out there. Yeah, I reckon it was a Jewy that grabbed that before. Bummer. It's so weird. We're pretty much getting a bite every single cast. And uh, ever since we've got that one big sort of run on that whiting fillet, everything just stopped. And it's been a while since we've seen anything now. All right, we're on now. Looks like we're on a whiting now. Got that one? Hey, look, what's this? Fish? <laughs> Not scared to touch it. We'll just let this one go, guys. All right, let's go. Oh, off he goes. All right, I'm gonna get this one out. So what's happened there, that's the first whiting we've got since we had that big run. So, or well, that big hit. So hopefully we get some more jewies come through the hole. It's either a jewy or a salmon, that's my guess anyway. So we'll keep going. I've got a mate rocked up. Come here, come say hello, come here. And then show Dave, where's the moon? Where's the moon, show us the moon. The fish? Wow, what's that? You want to drink it? Drink the water? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, come here. Don't touch there. Don't touch there. We've been baited on the big rod. Something took that whiting piece, that strip. So we'll put on some squid now. Man, he, he gave me some small squid. <laughs> he gave me this. How small is a squid? <laughs> well, I didn't give it to you, I sneaked it. You would have given me a I bigger squid. I massive one, bro. I would have given you like a massive one. That's Steve, he's massive. <laughs> Right, hey, we've got a squid strip out there now. Let's see how that goes. Okay, we're getting a bite. He's dropped it. Oh, oh no, we got him. We got him. Might be a flathead, this one. That's a bit better. And it's another small whiting. Hey, what's this thing? Yeah? Oh, <laughs> yuck. is it yucky? <laughs> Fish. All right. It looks like they're moving back into the area, but whatever scared them off, that's what I want now. So let's let him go. Catch and release day, bread and butter fishing. <laughs> Don't go there then. Oh, 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 we're getting a bite. Here we go. And we're on again. I think we're on. Yeah, we're on.
Oh. It's been an absolute whiting fest tonight. And these, most of these are legal. 27 centimeters. Pretty happy with that. Let's get them out. The whiting are coming back on the bite. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll keep persevering. Hopefully we can get a brim or something. Um, I'm just going to check that squid. We've got a squid strip out there. So we'll see how that... We'll see how that goes as well. This worm's going out. Let's check the big rod now. Let's check if we still got a squid strip on this one. Squid strip is still on. Okay, not, not being touched. It's been out there for about half an hour. Now we play the waiting game. The waiting game. Righto guys, so uh, the tide's turned, it's starting to come up now, so we'll uh, fish a little bit longer and we'll, um, we'll hopefully be able to uh, get something, something decent. The rod to the right, that's got the squid strip, the rod to the left, you can... Um, You've probably seen most of the day we've been getting whiting on that. Hoping for a brim or something, or a tailor. We've got some squid there for bait. And uh, let's see if we can make some conversions. Okay guys, the time at the moment's 8.35. And we're gonna be fishing until about 10 o'clock tonight. And I reckon our bite window is between 9.45 plus or minus seven minutes either side of that. So, that's, that's our reference point, okay guys? I hope we get a fish before then, but I reckon it more likely between 9.38 and 9.52 is when we'll get a run. So let's just see what happens. 8.35. Oh. Okay, we're on. like another whiting and of course it is it's a better whiting a much better whiting that's a that's a beautiful whiting guys so what I'm going to do is I want to try to use this for my uh, for my cover pick if I can Okay, just sit still there so I can get a cover shot. Just one second. There we go. Right, beautiful. Okay, let's let him go. And off he goes. We are absolutely smashing the whiting today, guys. We're smashing them. A few legals in amongst them as well. Let's bait up, let's do it again. So all the gear that I'm using, 
I'll put it down in the description below and you can go over there and uh, and suss them out and see what I'm using. So basically it's just an eggy head rod going for the whiting. Got the big rod out there, the pen prevail. I'll put all the details down there and some links uh, where you can pick up the gear from. Hopefully that one just buckles over and screams off. We're always a chance. So if you have a look at the time now, it's two minutes to 9 p.m. And as I said, I'll fish till 10 tonight, but um, 9.45 plus or minus seven minutes is when we'll get the big run or we'll get a dewy or a big fish. Let's wait and see. So it's been a while now and not much is happening. So as I said, I'll give it to uh, I'll give it until 10 p.m. and we will see how it goes. It's 10 past nine now. I don't think, um, I just reckon this is a quiet time. But uh, usually that, that 9.45 plus or minus seven minutes seems to be, there's not really a pattern to it. I've just noticed that when I look over my records that I've caught a lot of fish in between that time. It could just be a coincidence, or there might be something more to it. So we'll just keep, we'll keep going. If you guys want to see me do a specific type of fishing, put a comment down below, and I'll try to get that sorted out for you. The whiting seems to have dropped off a little bit. We've still got the bait out, the worms. We're not really losing any bait there. I'm anticipating that 9.45 time, plus or minus seven minutes either side of that. I'm hoping something happens there. 9.27. Okay. We're approaching that, the, my hot bite time, it's 9.35. So if you can see that, there's a few crabs out there just nibbling away at it. Not much really happening, so uh, we'll put another squid strip on. Try to get that to convert. We want a good bait out there now, because I reckon now's the time we're gonna get a run. 9.36. So between 9.38 and 9.52 will be the time we get a fish. I reckon. <laughs> My spider senses are tingling. The crabs are really smashing these worms. It's 9.38 right now. All right. Let's see what happens. We're fishing till 10 p.m. Between 9.38 and 9.52. We should get a buckle, and hopefully that one's gonna scream off. And we catch a mull away, and we release it, and we get it on camera, so that we can make an epic video on the Dave Austin Fishing Channel, guys. Can we make it happen? Can we make it happen? 9.45 plus or minus seven minutes. 9.38 to 9.52. I'm hoping that one just screams off. 9.42 guys, 9.42. It's 9.44. We've got 16 minutes left to fish, but I reckon, and I'm hoping something happens between nine, before 9.52. If my spider sensors are on point tonight, There we go, guys. Something's tapping this one now. We're getting the bite. Something's touching it. And it's 9.45, baby. 9.45. This rod's about to go, hopefully. It's going to buckle. Something's toying with it. Nine forty-five. Come on. I'm gonna to have to check that bait. All right, let's have a look what's going on here. I think there might. I think there's something on there. Might be a. Might be a bit of weed. Or it might be a shovel nose.
Okay. <laughs> guys. Wrong species, guys. It's this. Oh, he swallowed the hook. Damn, I'm going to have to cut him free. Wrong species, guys. Just a sec. Let me cut him free. Let him go. I've got to re I've got to retie another hook. Turn that light off. Wrong species, guys, but got to get another hook on ASAP. And there he goes. He's off. Damn. I knew something would happen at that time, but it's not what we were after. Got to get this hook on ASAP. Quick uni knot. Get another bait on. Another squid strip. I'll put the squid head on now. We'll go the heavy artillery. So it's 9.50, right? I said 9.45 plus or minus seven minutes, but that one might have cost us because, that one might have cost us a fish because we had to change the hook. He swallowed the hook, so I cut it nice and close, as you saw, and we let him go. Uh, but let's see. We'll fish till 10 p.m. We'll wrap it up then. Spidey sensors were wrong this time. Guys, I apologize. I'll try to get it right next time for you. Nine fifty-four. We got six minutes left before I start packing things up. Can we make anything happen, guys? Come on! You got to believe. You have to believe. We'll start wrapping things up nice and slow, guys. We'll leave that right out for a while. See if anything happens. Are we going? We're getting another run. All right. Right as we're about to pack up, guys, we're getting another run. He's still there. Doesn't feel like a mull away. He's bouncing his head around. Got him. Oh, good fish. Wow. Guys, we're getting head shakes here, guys. Oh. No! No! No way! We dropped him. Right at 10 o'clock, guys. Right at 10 o'clock. No way! No joke, guys. Look at this. Look at the time. 10 o'clock on the dot. If, you could, if that's coming through. What happened there? I felt solid head shakes. Might have been sharked. That was a good fish, guys. What happened there? What happened, what happened, what happened? Guys. We got bitten off. We got bitten off. Damn. Well, it wasn't a mulloway, that's... That's interesting. That would have been a, that would have been a shark, um, and that was on the squid head. Uh, I think. All right, 
<laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a little bit depressed. I'm a little bit deflated. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm not going to stay any longer. Uh, but there's some big fish that came in here tonight. So, And I know that something else came through before. They had a go at that whiting. And it was a little bit roughed up. So something without teeth hit that, or without teeth that can actually bite you off. But the scales were a little bit, um, the scales were a little bit sort of uh, taken off and scraped off, which is typical of a dewy type of, the way that their teeth are, the way that their teeth are structured, that's the way they normally scrape off. They can scrape off scales off a fish. And then there was that little indentation in that bait, in that whiting strip earlier on. But uh, and in the same spot we're getting those whiting, uh, we've obviously just been sharked and that was a good shark too anyway maybe next time we do a shark video all right guys tight lines i hope you enjoyed the video um 10 let me i've got to show you guys the time it's 10 o'clock and i kind of called it that 9 45 time is kind of when we start having that activity we've got that we've got that little dog shark thing or whatever it was not sure what they're called and then this is obviously a proper body body shark one that'll take your arm off all right tight lines guys be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bells let's go boom see you later